guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense. So <clears throat> I'm a reader uh, and I really like reading books. I've, I've just as long as I can remember, I've been a book reader. Uh, so whenever I tend to study a topic or, or want to learn a lot about a topic, I search out a lot of books to read about that topic. Um, if you're not a reader, become one. Uh, you should be. Some of the best information in the world is easily accessible via books. So with that being said, I want to start a series here on books that you should read as a gun person. Uh, I just don't think there's very much discussion about that in, in the gun world, about what books we should be reading and what kind of knowledge we should be seeking and, and where to even start in that process. Uh, do people even write books about tactical concepts and, and self-defense and that kind of thing? Uh, the answer is yes, <clears throat> and uh, here on my channel I'm going to try to do some kind of quick overviews and reviews of whether or not uh, what books you should read, what books you should not read, and, and try to help us further our information here because an informed warrior is a good one. So, with that being said, the very first one, of course, is going to be my Mr. Masad Ayub, and this one is Deadly Force, Understanding Your Right to Self-Defense. Uh, if you don't know who Masad Ayub is, you've been living under a rock, uh, or you just haven't been into guns very long, but he's, of course, a titan in the gun world, especially when it comes to the legality uh, regarding self-defense and laws regarding self-defense. He's been an expert witness in probably hundreds of cases. This book is pretty recent. It was copyrighted in 2014, so about four or five years old at this point. Uh, <clears throat> just a quick overview here, he goes through all the main concepts, right? So ability, opportunity, jeopardy, if you've never heard that triad before, that's yet another reason to own this book and read it. He really does a good job of explaining the law. He goes into other nuances like the Tuller drill and, and really does a good breakdown of that, which was which is extremely helpful to me. And, and I've known about the Tuller drill for a long time. Again, if you don't know what the Tuller drill is, get this book. He talks a lot about uh, kind of what kind of case you'd be mounting in a self-defense shooting titled an affirmative defense. This was a relatively new concept to me. Uh, I've not been aware of it up until now. It uh, talks about things like the necessity doctrine, uh, the reasonable person doctrine, just kind of general American law principles that you would need to know if you ever had to go to court because you saved your life physically and now you have to save your life legally. He does a great job of covering some case studies uh, from the George Zimmerman trial, which was massively informative to me. I, I learned a lot more about that trial than I had known previously. He also covers a trial that I'd never heard of, which was the state of Arizona versus Larry Hickey. Uh, Larry Hickey was actually a former uh, instructor down at Tactical Response, and he'd been involved in the self-defense shooting. And in both these cases, both the Zimmerman and the Hickey trial, uh, he kind of goes through and gives the breakdown of the case and how it went and what really happened and the information and, and how it got twisted and how these guys had to work through trials for years. And it was just massively in informative to see the kind of the law applied and how that can go good or bad for you. There's one thing I did not like about this book. Uh, at one point, he seems to kind of endorse this uh, older idea. N no longer, he doesn't endorse it currently, but seemed to be sympathetic towards this old idea of back in the day, and I'm talking about like 70s, 60s, whatever, when cops would carry a second gun in case they shot the wrong guy, shot an innocent person, that they'd have a gun to like throw on the guy to be like, see, he had a gun. And uh, he seems to kind of be sympathetic towards that in, in this book a little bit. And that, I, that was, I did not like that at all. Um, you know, as, as a uh, God-fearing citizen of America, I don't like the idea of, of being sympathetic towards a cop who shoots the wrong person and then plants evidence on them so that they don't get in trouble for shooting the wrong person. Uh, I found that a little little obnoxious. But uh, that being said, that was, that was a more minor point. And like I said, kind of an offhand comment that he makes in the book. It's not like a, a main feature or anything. But by and large, I highly, highly recommend Deadly Force uh, by Masad Ayub. So if uh, you've never heard of this book, if you've never heard of this guy, if, if you're at all fuzzy, just kind of about the general laws, I know that different states have different requirements for their permits, um, and you may or may not need to understand the laws regarding lethal force in your state in order to get your permit to carry. Uh, and as a responsible armed citizen, that's part of your duty, is to understand the laws surrounding lethal force and self-defense. So this is a great, great book. Like I said, it covers great generalities of the laws in general in America. For your state specifics, of course, you'll have to look into that but he does a fantastic job. So I highly recommend you reading uh, Deadly Force. If you don't own it, buy it. I will link it in the description below and uh, read it. Books are no good unread. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.